Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily, with the daily social skills lesson number 15. It's uh, social skills number 15, respecting boundaries. Today I want to talk to you about a fundamental aspect of human interaction. Social skills and the importance of respecting boundaries. Understanding and respecting boundaries is crucial for building healthy relationships and fostering a positive social environment. So what exactly do we mean by boundaries? Boundaries are the limits we set for ourselves in various aspects of our lives, physical, emotional, and interpersonal. They define what is acceptable and what is not, guiding our interactions with others and helping us navigate social situations with respect and empathy. Let me illustrate this with an example. Imagine you're at a party chatting with a group of friends. One man then t starts sharing personal information about themselves, something they, see, they seem uncomfortable discussing in a group setting. Respecting their boundaries means acknowledging their discomfort and refraining from probing further into their, the, excuse me, into the topic. Instead, you might change the subject or offer your support in a more private setting later on. Respecting boundaries also means being mindful of physical space. For instance, if someone steps back when you're talking to them, it could be a sign that they need more personal space. Being aware of these cues and adjusting your behavior accordingly demonstrates respect for their boundaries. A lot of people don't have boundaries nowadays. They don't respect them. So how can we improve our social skills while respecting boundaries? Firstly, it's essential to communicate openly and honestly. If you're unsure about someone's boundaries, don't hesitate to ask respectfully. For example, you could say, I want to make sure I'm respecting your boundaries. Is it okay if I ask you about this? This shows that you value their comfort and autonomy. Secondly, practice active listening. Pay attention to verbal and nonverbal cues that indicate someone's boundaries. This could be a change in tone of voice, body language, or facial expressions. By listening attentively and respecting these cues, you demonstrate empathy and understanding. Lastly, always seek constant, excuse me, always seek consent before crossing any boundaries, whether it's physical contact, sharing personal information, or discussing sensitive topics. Always ask for permission first. For instance, instead of assuming it's okay to hug someone, you could say, would you like a hug? This simple act shows that you respect their autonomy and are considerate of their comfort level. In conclusion, developing strong social skills in involves not only effective communication, but also respecting the boundaries of others. By understanding and honoring these boundaries, we create more inclusive and supportive social environment where everyone feels valued and respected.